Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review for the Sound Blaster X4 external sound card. So in this video, I'll walk you through the actual device itself, and then I'll actually show you the software that Creative includes with this and just kind of walk you through it, give you some of my overall thoughts. So starting off with this, um, the actual device itself, this has a nice illuminated blue light, and this basically doubles as your volume knob as well, right here in the center. It has the SX5 branding and then Sound Blaster X4 there on the top right. On the back, you have several ports here. So this is a USB-C into USB, which we have plugged into the back. It has a fairly long cable, which you can see we never even took apart. We kind of just leave it resting here on the side of this PC. And then on the back, you've also got, just kind of, I'll flip this around so you can take a look at all the different ports here. We have a front, side, rear, and subwoofer line out. You have your line optical in, and then you've also got an optical out as well as that USB there. In this particular case, we're actually just utilizing um, the direct connection to the PC, and then we're utilizing the front headset aux port. You do also have a microphone input here, but um, this is actually connected to a set of Bayer Dynamic uh, DT880s. So this is actually a little bit more of a uh, higher end um, basically stereo headset. These specifically weren't designed for PC, but very popular with PC gaming. Um, we wanted something that, you know, you could combine a really nice stereo headset with the amplification of the actual Sound Blaster X4. And this really does an amazing job, you know, playing games where you need to hear footsteps, very critical things when playing um, shooting games, things, things like that. This is really gonna do a good job. You have the audio balance setting here, so and then you've also got a direct mode that you can um, utilize as well as the uh, SX5 button. All of these have different features, jumping over to the app here just to give you some idea. You've got your equalizer settings. Um, the direct mode, as they describe, is a mode to give you audio in its purest form directly from the source. All audio effects will be applied to the output. Um, you have an acoustic engine, so you can come in here and do like different settings with surround, crystallizer, bass, volume, dialogue. You can change this based on the input that you're using, headphones or speakers. You have what they call Super XFi. So um, this requires a separate app, but we're not utilizing that at the moment. There's additional sound settings you can do there. You have a sound mode, so you can do specific settings for gaming, music, movies, adventures, and then there's even specific game settings here, for example, for Apex Legends. Um, you have a smart comm kit. This basically lets you communicate smarter during calls. You have their crystal voice, so this basically helps with things like echo cancellation, um, specific volume settings to like be heard clearly and not needing to shout or whisper. Um, so you have lots of different things here that you can do. They also have what they call scout mode, so this will help um, enhance footsteps, speech, weaponry, handling, acoustic characteristics without necessarily um, messing with that. So that'll really enhance, you know, if you're playing something where um, you've got a shooter where you're going to be hearing those footsteps, some, uh, an enemy coming around a corner or something like that. It's really going to help with that. Um, overall, I think the creative app on this is pretty good. You have some playback settings here, all your recording settings, and then you've also got um, just your main settings here in terms of driver checking and updates, firmware, all of that. So overall, you have um, your settings here. You can switch between optimization for PC and Mac or PC, Mac, and PS4, as well as PS5 and Nintendo Switch. So this has, um, you know, generally... Um, some pretty good settings here in terms of what you're going to be utilizing for each and every device. Um, overall, I've been very, very happy with this. You know, matching this with a really high quality stereo headset and playing games, this thing has nothing been short of allowing me to just have that advantage that I know even some of my friends and other people playing, uh, I'm playing against online probably just simply do not have. So um, it's a really clean look. You can see here just kind of sitting next to this black build here we have on the case. It, it um, is very easy to utilize. You can um, literally turn up the volume or turn it down as needed. And then all the settings, you simply just connect everything right through Windows and you're more or less good to go. So yeah, I think if you're looking for an upgrade, something that you don't have to put internally into your, um, your machine, these external sound cards have become very popular now over the years. And I think this is definitely a good bet if you're looking for something to um, just really enhance that sound while playing PC gaming, listening to music, movies, or anything else. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video review and I hope you found it helpful.